Hi everyone, it's the Arma Gamer here, and today we will be learning how to make basic character movement for your Blender game and Nitro Jumping Motion 2. So let's begin. So let's take a quick look to the scene or what I've built here. Um, it's very easy to do. So what I have here is my ground plane, which is not a plane really; it's just a flattened cube. For games, it works better. I have a cube here, which is my player a light source which is a point light and a camera so first off let's set the physics for our player so select your player in my case it's a cube now let's set the physics but um, let's first expand this menu on the right which is right here so now click on physics but there's a problem we don't really have any physics here so we want to change our blender to blender game so click here on blender render and change it to blender game okay so now we should see that we have physics type and uh, attributes all kind of stuff so this is perfect so now we're in blender game everything is fine so let's set up physics right so right now our cube doesn't have any effect on gravity he will just hover around the ground and go through object which is we something what that we don't want so we want to set our physics to dynamic so gravity will have effect on him and he won't go through object so click on physics time and change it to static to dynamic so now right here on attribute change the radius to the lowest you can I'll type in zero now scroll down and check the box of collision bound so if you look here you can see all those little dots around your cube those are his collision bound so that will make that he won't go through object it will if another object enters in collision with those collision bound it will stop them or he just won't be able to go through them so this is what we want okay so we're good for the physics so now let's set up our player so give them the command if you press let's say W he'll go forward okay so click let's change our, our screen layout first so click this button right to um, the default screen layout so change it to game logic okay so now um, let me explain you what we have down here we have sensors which are sensor for example if I if um, I will for example later I'll add a keyboard sensor that mean if if the game senses that I'm pressing the key W for example it will transmit the sense to the actuator um, let me explain you this by doing it so I'll add a sensor okay so here I've add a sensor and this one is going to be a keyboard so here you can define the key that you it will sense so I'll take W okay now the controllers we won't really care about them they're just or and so we just won't touch them so now the actuator is the action of the sensor if the sensor senses something it will say do the action that you've assigned it to do so we have all kinds of actuators I'll take a motion a motion is a location a rotation all kind of movement so we have a bunch of settings down here which are dynamic object settings but we won't touch them and we have location and rotation on top which is what we want to use okay so first off we want to make um, if I send something make him happen on the motion okay so to make him if we want him to transmit the action we want we need to link them up okay so we need to bring the current somehow so clean this little black dot and bring it to the other dot so now it, so for example if I press W there's electricity in the sensor if I press W electricity it sends an electric current to the actuator and says for example the actuator is, is a lamp and this is let's say the switch to open the light so if I press W let's say I've opened the switch it brings the current to the light and, and it says to the light open okay so it goes like this so for example here I've set up my key to W and I want him to go forward okay so on location which is lock you have X Y and Z those are all the axes right here so I have the X which is the red arrow the Y which is the green one and the Z which is the blue one 
so I want him to go forward on the Y axis so what I'll do is click this little arrow next to the Y so it will say 0 0.10 which is for me the speed of 1 so now we have everything linked up it will if I press W he'll go on the on the Y axis which is forward where the arrow is pointing on the speed of 1 if you want to test out your game you can press P and test it out so I'll press W he goes forward that's perfect if you want to if you don't if you want to quit your game test you just press escape so now this is how it goes it's extremely easy as you saw so I will add another sensor but this time I want him to go backward so I'll add a keyboard sensor and assign my key and it will be S I'll add an actuator a motion as always and click the arrow next to Y but on the other side which is the left side so it will write minus 0 0.10 he'll go on the speed of minus which is going to be if here the Y axis normally if he's on normal which is um, 1 he'll go on the right side for me right now if I look at this view and if he was minus he would go backward okay so now let's link it up so take this black dot bring it to the other dot if I want to now I want to test my game out I press P I press S he goes backwards and I can go forward and backward I can escape so now we want him to turn okay we'll add another sensor a keyboard and I'll press the key which is D so we want and now I'll add uh, so sorry but now we'll add an actuator which is going to be motion so now we want him to rotate on the on itself which is the Z axis for us so we'll use the rotation tab which is down here okay so press this arrow next to, next to Z and it will be minus one so he'll rotate on the speed of one on the Z axis so he'll turn to the right side now link it up okay press P to test it out if I press D he turns the right side if I press W I can go forward on the side that I want so here I can turn around only on the right side okay so now let's add the another um, sensor which is going to be again a keyboard and I want him to turn on the left side so press I'll take assign the key to A and then add a sense an actuator and it will be a motion and I will make him turn on the right on the left side so I'll click this arrow so make it the speed of one on the Z axis on the rotation tab now I link it up I close those if I if I test my game out I can go forward turn left right that's what we want okay so now for the final touch what we'll do is add a jumping motion it's extremely easy it's exactly the same way we did all the movement just we'll give him a location which is going to be going up but because we have gravity he won't be able to go up all the way up he'll just go at a certain height and then go down again okay so add sensor keyboard I'll assign my key to space bar and then whoop, oh, I have a look, okay so now I add an actuator a motion and on the Z I click um, the speed of one on the Z on the location then drag it up to the other side now if you test our game out press P if you press space he jumps that's awesome isn't it um, so hope you like this tutorial if you want some more videos you just need to subscribe it's always fun to see people are following my videos I really like it don't forget to like and if you have any question or request just hit me up in the comment and show this game to your mom I'm sure she'll like it but anyway thanks for watching see you soon